so today I have another mod showcase to share with you and this one is all about the details. There's going to be roughly about 15 mods in this showcase that will hopefully add a little more realism into your game. And naturally it would only be right for me to use my current household sim Ms. Amy for this showcase because her whole life just comes with a bunch of drama and I think it would be perfect to show off some of these items. Mod number one is called the Sims Portrait Maker and it's essentially an add-on to the Photographic Memory Maker mod that I've reviewed here on the channel in the past. I'm not going to talk too much about the main mod, but I will tell you some of its key points. So say for instance you take a picture in game of the beach, your sim does, right? Well now you're able to do more things with that photo than you would have been previously. You can improve the photo quality, so say that gnome's in the way or it's blurry, you can completely X that out and make it a pristine photo. You can also transfer your photos to canvas or cross stitch. My main thing with this mod is being able to create photo gifts. I think this is incredible because you could actually give these to other sims so you can personally a calendar. You can create a Polaroid that can go on that little cork board. You can also do other things including turning it into wall art which I think is amazing so that's another great way to display some of your in-game photos. But the Sims Portrait Maker essentially allows you to capture a photo or a portrait of your sim as they are. Almost like a school photo. So whatever Amy is currently wearing down to even her hairstyle will be captured in this photo. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We are going to create a sim portrait and it's super duper easy. All you have to do is just click the option then click the sim that you want to create the portrait of and just like that you have a professional portrait of your sim so there's a couple of things you can do with this you can rotate the photo into a landscape which I think would look really weird so I don't see why you would do that you can put it in your sims inventory and from here you can create additional portraits and if you want you can even give your portrait some details so for instance if this was a school photo you could put in those credentials but for me I just put in Amy's first and last name the date and her age mod number two and three kind of go hand in hand and the first one is called Walk Your Way by, I think the name is Tripless, Tripless, which is kind of funny, Tripless. And then the second one is Walk and Swim in Style by Abitadong. I don't think I'm saying any of those right. Walk Your Way is just a very simple way to kind of control the way that your sim gets around, whether it's that they're always walking or they're always jogging the places or always running. This can be great for if you want your sim to get somewhere quickly. You don't want them to walk to their destination, but you want them to just haul ass and run you could do that too. So right now Amy is set to always walk so no matter what she'll always walk. I think it's kind of self-explanatory. Maybe I'm overthinking it a little bit but let me show you what happens if she always jogs. So it's gonna show that she's getting into I think her athletic wear but clearly nothing changes. I don't know why she's thinking about the door. She's about to she's about to go freaking Tasmanian devil on it. So let's just see what it looks like for her to run down towards the end of this hallway here. So see now she is running and she's running like crazy too. So no matter what I have her do if I ever go over here typically she would walk she'll start jogging over there you know and I think that's kind of fun I don't know I like that I think it's super helpful especially if you need somewhere for your sim or if you need your sim to get somewhere quick this is going to make things so much easier for you so we're gonna go to the actions menu and then we're gonna dive into walk in style we can change our walk style to run we can run very slow we can run very fast we can run you know ultra fast it just depends so basically it's it's very similar to the first mod but now you have even more options that you can actually actually deal with. So the other one's kind of like a quick little like quick little menu, you know, get here, walk there, jog fast, whatever. But if you really want to customize it, you're able to even get into like roll, like roll walk style. So we have sick patient, scarecrow, military march, what? Elder walk. So you could literally have your sim walk around like an elder. Do you see why this is helpful? Not even just not even just for storytelling in your own personal gameplay, but like screenshots and machinimas and stuff. Oh my god. Where has this been my entire life? Is she going to really like walk as an elder? I would die. I don't think she is walking as an elder though. Let's just see if this works or maybe I'm like tripping. Hold on. She seems like she oh there she goes. She is. Okay, it, it takes a second for it to kick in, but if you guys can see She's definitely walking like an elder. Okay, cool. Maybe I need to do something that's a little more definitive because it's almost hard to tell, but I see it. I definitely see it. I'm, I'm sure you do too, but let's just try out one more. Let's have her walk in style. We're going to change her walk style. Uh, we're going to go from elder walk to, do I need to reset these? I probably do need to reset the walk styles. Might be good. I don't know if you can like stack them. Otherwise, that could be really weird. 
Uh, you can you can do that in your own personal gameplay, but let me just change my walk style. We're gonna do roll walk styles, and we're gonna do sick patient. Would that be easy? Or military march? Let's try military march, and just to see if it actually like really does show. There we go. She is military marching her way down the hallway. Do y'all see that? That is crazy. And just to reiterate a little bit, not only can you change your Sims walk style, but you can also play an animation on that current walk style, so they can react to to pay attention look at surroundings they can also sway hands and panic they can do a bunch of different things they can step on poop slip and fall and in addition you can also change their swim style so you can do regular swim if you have island living you can pick from different swim styles from that ep also you can do emotional swim styles too these next two mods pertain to the bedroom the first one basically just gives your sims an extra household chore to do and it's called brand new bed sheets by lazy neve it's self-explanatory it allows your sims to finally change their freaking bed sheets and typically you will see a positive mood lit here called like clean sheets or something but for some reason it's not showing up on my end it has in the past i've seen it with my own eyes i have a screenshot of it but this time it's not showing up it's probably because i've done it so many times however there will be a pile of laundry at the foot of your bed now i did remove poor amy's line like washer and dryer because i just didn't like the way it looked in her apartment but hey, hey, hey i have a follow-up mod for you by little miss sam it's called social activities i talk about this mod all the time i really love it if you want to like have laundry in your game but you don't want to have like the washer dryer and everything you know else that comes along with it i totally got you you'll just get the social activities mod by little miss sam hop into other activities and then you can have your sim take their laundry to the laundry laundry mat rabbit hole laundry mat for 10 simoleons so that's another way um, that you could be dealing with this laundry over here but I love that you're able to actually change your freaking bed sheets it just it makes a lot of sense and I kind of love it so let's have Miss Amy dive in to the bed because this next mod it's very subtle but I almost feel like it makes such a huge impact especially if you have the cuddle mod in where your sims like two sims will cuddle obviously she broke up with her boyfriend so I can't show that to you but then when you have such a cute animation like that you'll get those ugly z's so chris 29 made a mod that eliminates the z's from when your sim sleeps so as you can see amy is sleeping peacefully and we don't have those cartoon z's just ruining the moment if you download any of the mods in the showcase you got to get this one and it's called greetings by need coffee for that so essentially you can control the way your sim greets other sims so you know when you like introduce yourself or you see a sim and they do kind of whatever random greeting they want to do uh, 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 uh. no more of that now you can actually control again how they receive their friends so we can go into greetings and say you know we we're going to the gym with our bestie here Mirza we could give her a funny greeting if we're feeling goofy we could give her a friendly wave we could do a courteous handshake a bro hug an air kiss you know for those bougie sims or whatever if it's your boyfriend you can romantically kiss their cheek you can kiss their hands uh, you can also so just give them a hug high five so literally you have so many different ways that you can now greet your sims and i just freaking love it i love it so much i think what we're gonna do is we're probably gonna go in for a hug okay this is like our really really good friend and i think it would only be appropriate to instead of just waving at her hug her so there we go we're greeting her and now we're at the gym speaking of which by the way uh there's some brand new equipment by sim realist and uh, i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying i'm dying just take a look at this now i will say the texture of the actual equipment itself it's very like real like it's very alpha i feel like and i guess that's not too bad i mean the animations are so fluid your sims do indeed build you know athletic skills so that's great like look at all of these amazing pieces of equipment i'm actually just gonna have amy come over here and she is going to you know what no Oh, no 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 i'm gonna no i take that back let me just let me just rework this a second we're gonna have amy work out here and then i'm gonna have her friend mirza go on the treadmill and you guys can kind of get an idea of what these look like i'm not actually sure what the equipment is like i know that this is obviously a treadmill which i'm so happy to have oh my freaking god i have no idea what this is but whatever amy is doing she is killing it also amy has been recently really getting into fitness so this is a great opportunity opportunity to kind of expand the gym equipment that she's using i do also use another set i can't remember who it is but i'll make sure to link this on my master post for all of the mods 
in this showcase so that you guys can even get those too um but i think it has like an exercise bike and things like that so maybe what i could do is take you in to build by really fast and then i will tell you which each what each one of these are so this is the elliptical this is the summit i believe this is just called a row and then obviously this is a treadmill these next two following mods are also by need coffee for that the first one is the beggar mod you can transform yourself into a beggar which will give you different interactions and things that you can perform to, of course, beg for money, beg for simoleons, beg for change, or you can transform other sims into beggars. You can do NPCs, you can do townies, and then you'll basically see them periodically while you're going about your business asking for change, asking for simoleons. So there's a couple of ways that you can do it. For a sim that you don't necessarily have control over, you could just click them and then you could give them the beggar tree. And then again, you might see them walking around asking for money. Or if you wanted to be the sim that was asking for money, maybe you have a rags to riches story you're trying to tell or you need a quick come up. It's fine. I'm not judging. Trust me. <laughs> All you need to do is select your sim and then you can make them a beggar and you can also remove the beggar tree. But if you want you can hop in to the rewards store and then you can purchase the beggar trait reward for 100 simoleons, right? So we can do that for 100, not 100 simoleons. I always call this simoleons, points, purchase, reward, reward points. So we're going to purchase this reward. Now our sim is a beggar. And so what I can do is I can select Amy and then I can have her beg for money. What makes this mod even better is that there's an actual skill for begging. It says here by increasing the skill your sim will receive more money and a higher success chance when using the beg for money interaction and i think by her simply just begging for money or asking for simoleons she is very slowly yet tediously increasing this skill she hasn't had anybody donate to her just yet but i have how we don't well somebody did somebody just donated five dollars i think whenever you see simoleons on the ground that's somebody donating that's pretty crazy i wish at the end of it there was like a little synopsis of how much money you earn from begging but i think this is great for a rags to riches story not only did need coffee for that create a begging mod but they also made a mod where you can be a burglar and you don't need to have your sims have the klepto trait very similar to how you would have your sim become a beggar you would also have your sim jump into the reward store to become a burglar there are so many different things that you can do with this actually the mod notes for this are quite extensive i'm not going to read into it too much i'm going to let you guys read on those notes if you're interested um but once your sim becomes becomes a burglar they're gonna get this brand new skill very much like the beggar mod and then what your sim can steal depends on how far they are in the burglar skill does that make sense so like if your sim is just kind of like an entry level thief they might struggle to actually break into um, certain houses and things like that and i think you also need to be like a level five because it's a five level skill you'll need to be a level five in the burglar skill in order to be able to break into like celebrity homes and private dwellings and stuff it's pretty crazy and if you get caught you can be arrested so if you are familiar with this house then you know what amy came to do she almost blew her cover she was trying to talk to marissa she's actually trying to break in to uh mr alex's house so <laughs> because you know i mean it's amy like who else would do this i think though i'm pretty sure that it's just her actually i think marissa and alex are both here this is a dumb idea it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna cause us to uh, definitely get caught but i'm thinking i might force alex and marissa to leave this is a different mod and it might actually come in super duper handy so they're leaving maybe they're going to the grocery store right because i actually want to show you guys what happened i've had her arrested when i was play testing this mod um and <laughs> she was there for a very long time i was laughing my ass off though because she hella got caught but we're gonna come over here and we are going to pick the locks and enter this residence without being invited so you will have a breakout or breakout break in break in option when you click on the front doors of homes i love this little house actually it's kind of a weird home but i really like it a lot anyway we're gonna have her go and try to get inside Ooh, we've just acquired the burglary burger burger i guess swear to god i could say it's burglary 
burglary skill. Amy has acquired the burglary skill. Amy has learned how to pick locks and is now able to sneak into any residence to swipe some stuff. True, her attempts at lock picking are currently still very clumsy and mostly resemble wild fumbling, but with time and practice, she will surely get better at it. For now though, Amy should take it easy and only swipe small objects. After all, you can't run very far with, well, that huge flat screen TV under your arms, can you? Amy can now break into houses by clicking on the door and choosing the break-in option, but don't be too loud or the residents may hear you. I'm pretty sure Amy failed her first attempt, so I'm gonna have her try it again. She does have two moodlets here. The first one says, that was a bust. The door is still closed and you sure made a lot of noise clumsily poking around in that lock like this. Are you sure you want to try again? That was loud. Amy needs to work on her lock picking skills because that lock did not go down quietly. Does she? Does she dare to go in or would it be better to just run away? Oh my god, so that reminded me of the last time that I tried to have her do this right before she got arrested. So I guess somebody in the residence heard her picking at the locks and she totally got caught and all of a freaking sudden Amy got this little icon over here to run away. She literally, I'm not even kidding, she took off running behind the house and down the alleyway. It was hilarious. I think I'm going to cheat the burglary skill just because I really want to see what it looks like for her to actually gain entry. So let's just max it to level five. There's a bunch of different verbiage here. I don't honestly care. I wish it was just an easier way to get in. Like you didn't have to like break in. Maybe you were like a little bit faster. Actually, you know what? It does look like she's faster at lock picking. And here we are inside the residence. Ooh, this is creepy. You don't necessarily have to do this to, you know, per se, uh, break in and steal things. Like maybe you're a crazy ex like Amy and you just want to sniff around a little bit. Surprisingly, you can't just steal anything. Like if I wanted to steal this potted plant, can't do it. If I wanted to steal the couch, not an option. Hell, if I wanted to steal this toaster, nope, can't do that either. It can take a lot of things. However, you can take electronics, I've noticed. So if I wanted to come over here and swipe Alex's beloved Xbox, because if you follow my current household, you know how much of like a game head he is. <laughs> Ooh, that went a heart right in the cojones. We're stealing it. We're stealing his Xbox. And if I really wanted to be a petty Betty, I could come over here and steal his uh, bike too. So let's do that. We're going to steal Marissa's clothes. And I think, ooh, he's lucky. I can't steal that. Why is she going over here to steal it? I don't know if she can just jack it through the wall. Okay, she can. And we took Marissa's clothes. Look at that. Once you steal something, you do get a little notification. Hooray, Amy successfully swiped an object. Did anyone see her? Exhilarating, exhilarating steal. Nothing is more thrilling than swiping objects from others. A winged llama brought back three functional wall phones from previous Sims games. The first one that we have is the Sims 3 a mobile phone and it is of course functional. The only thing is that it doesn't actually have a cord so maybe it's wireless. The second one though is just the traditional wall phone. I'm not exactly sure where this came from or if this is one that you know a winged llama actually made themselves. And then the last and final one is a little more modern than the rest. Ironically though it came from the Sims 2 and it's called the Sims 2 atomic wall phone. Let me know in the comments if you actually remember these phones if you did play the previous versions of the Sims but that is crazy so the cool thing about these bad boys is that they are animated so once your sim like receives a call it'll like jingle while it's on the hook i do think you need to enable it though i'm not exactly sure how that works i think you have to shift click and then click enable phone calls for you to actually receive phone calls on the device but when you want to place a phone call there's a very clear and concise menu i love this it's very similar to like a chat menu when you're clicking on another sim everything is just laid out very nicely for you so you can travel you can, you know, um, call somebody, order a delivery, you know, all the all the normal options are there. So just, you know, for issues and giggles, we are going to have, we're going to have Amy call Graham. Haven't spoke to him in a while. Hopefully everything's okay because the last time I talked to him, he was not, he was not happy to talk to me at all. And is that like dirt on the receiver? Oh my God, that's a little gross. <laughs> so I don't know if you saw that, but she like had it up to her ear and everything and you know, the whole, the whole nine. Accidentally, I just discovered a feature of this phone. When you shift click the phone itself and you select enable phone calls or disable phone calls, what it actually does is it prevents your SIM from using their cell phone. So that is great if you're trying to play like a certain story of a time where maybe cell phones didn't exist. Now this next mod actually elaborates on the pizza delivery options that came with the SIM's 
things for Home Chef Hustle stuff pack. So do you guys remember how like a lot of people, well, maybe I don't know if you saw this or not, but a lot of people were really hoping and myself included that we would actually get those recipes in the delivery service for pizza delivery. Well, unfortunately, um, they didn't show up. It wasn't a thing. We didn't get those options. So now Banny has made it so that if you want to order a pizza from Home Chef Hustle, you can. So you can get your pizza marinara, your pizza margarita, your pineapple pizza. I don't know why they didn't add this in, but it's fine. Modders have come to our rescue. I've featured some pretty amazing mods on this list. I'm not going to lie, but this one here is probably one of my favorites, if not hands down my favorite, because it is something that I have been wanting for literally ever. If you aren't using Better Build Buy by Twisted Mexi, you are absolutely slack a lacking. I'm telling you, if you have to, if you have to get any mod, get that one. Like, I swear, if you're a builder, especially because it makes navigating Build Buy so much easier, but this next feature literally is sending me through the roof right now. You can now favorite your favorite objects in Build Buy. Yeah, that's right. All you have to do is click your little scrolly wheel, select the object you'd like to favorite, and then there'll be this little teal star here and you can like as many as you want you can just go through the catalog and start liking everything and if you need to find that item later there's a brand new category called favorites where the items that you have selected will show up I wasn't entirely sure if I was going to I wasn't sure if I was going to showcase this mod just for the simple fact I've already talked about it in the previous episode of growing with the Grovers but since I still keep getting questions on it I decided to go ahead and share it with you guys it is the override selfie poses for pears by dear kim a little bit of a mouthful but basically what it does is it will override the existing in-game poses and give you brand new ones and let me tell you these ones are super duper cute you just go to your camera as you traditionally would take a photo with whatever sim you want to take a photo with and then there you will be met with a bunch of brand new poses now if amy would just ever so kindly shut her trap we could get on with it and there there we go. So her and Mirza. Oh my god. Isn't that like the freaking cutest picture ever? Like I love them. Oh my god. Seriously, I'm like not even kidding. Like I'm actually quite honestly freaking obsessed. This is such a cute picture. And don't worry, don't worry, that's not the only pose. If you filter through the categories, we'll get different ones. So if we go into relaxed, we'll see a couple different options there. Some of them will be just a slight difference, like her closing her lips, but you can go into excited and you'll get like these cute little, I don't know what the heck they are, like little peace sign poses, a little more friendly options. If you do something romantic, there are some like little snuggly poses in here too. Thoughtful is kind of nice. I think, I think I'm pretty sure thoughtful is like where I took a couple photos of Ayla and Eric. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm pretty positive by now. You get the general idea of what poses come with this pack. Because it showcases all about the little details, I wanted to share with you a couple pieces of CC that I've made personally that literally embody just that. The first one is called Pierce. It is a set of ear piercing holes. Don't you find it kind of weird that when your sims take off their earrings, they're left with nothing? Like no indication that their ears are pierced at all? Well, with this, I wanted to fix that. So here you have a couple different options you can go in by like skin tone and then if you do download the face paint option for pierced you'll actually be able to control it with the sliders now I do believe it's in skin details and it's also obviously in face paint and then there's another permanent option, I believe, in tattoos. So here we can, if I wanted to, we can select maybe even the darker swatch. And then I can just go and lower the opacity. This way I could even create kind of the illusion of maybe like a closed ear piercing if I wanted to. Now this is compatible for male and females. And then there's other options here where you can select uh, one ear to be pierced. I don't know if you guys can see that. Or if you wanted to, you know, wanted just your, your right to be pierced, you could do that if you wanted your left to be pierced maybe your sims don't have both of their ears pierced you know just you have a lot of different variety a lot of different options this next piece of cc literally came to me as i was laying down my eight month old for a nap i looked at my finger and thought hmm that might be a cool idea for some cc so i present to you taken taken is essentially a little ring tan line that could convey many storylines obviously your imagination is dependent on this one maybe your sim is trying to be a little deceptive 
captive. Maybe they lost the ring in the ocean in Zulani. Perhaps they're a widow or widower. Honestly, the details are none of my business, but I just wanted to give you all the details so that you could tell your own story. This will be available in face paint. It's also available, I think, under medical or medical wearable devices. I'm not sure. And then the other one is in, I believe, face details. What I like about having it in face paint is that you can, again, control the opacity very much like pierced you're able to control exactly how definitive you want that line to be which definitely makes customization a lot easier so i love that if you know me in real life or even just on the internet then you know how obsessed with nails i am i do my own nails at home and i love creating nails for the game so i decided since it's been quite a while to create a new nail collection and it's called the cake collection in total i have six different nails two different variations shine and chrome and then i I think three styles in total. The first style is just going to be a solid polish and it's in the color palette Autumn. I love this color palette. It just screams like classy and sophisticated. All of the colors are absolutely beautiful and rich and flattering on all skin tones. But if you want to take it up a notch, maybe you're a little bit edgy, maybe you like to live life on the edge, there is a chrome variation of this color story. And let me tell you, this chrome is breathtaking. It actually does operate on the spec layer so it is a true traditional chrome and will actually shine in the light now one of my popular collections is the classic collection it's the very first nail collection that i had launched when the sims 4 actually introduced nails and so i wanted it to create kate in a french so here we have the same exact color story for my classic collection just obviously on the kate nail it is the same mesh as the base game but of course in my color palette and i've done a lot of things to it it took me three days mind you but here we are so here it is and then i decided because obviously chrome's hot right now french chrome is also super spicy this is great for weddings it's great for cocktail parties, formal events, sophistication, classy sims, whoever, anybody who wants to wear these nails can. I honestly don't care. And then because I'm obsessed with ombre, I decided to also make an ombre chrome, which was a little bit tricky to do. And then I also made the ombre in the shine variant as well. Love you guys. That pretty much wraps it up for this mod showcase. I hope that you all enjoyed. And if you did, you know what to do, boo. Don't forget to go ahead and comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And I will see you all next time.